Today, I'm gonna to show you seven ways to roll an extension cord. What's your favorite? Starting with my favorite method, the wrist wrap. Each method will have a countdown in the upper left hand corner so you can see exactly how long this takes. Start with both ends of the plug in hand and then wrap with the back of your wrists until you have it all coiled up in a figure eight. Then twist your arm like so, pulling the loop through for a nice hanger. Next is the chain method. Same thing, start with both ends of the plug in hand. Tie an overhand knot and then pull the cord through the hole that you made repeatedly over and over to create a chain. One disadvantage of this method is that it's really long and hard to store. However, the advantage is that it's super easy to unwind. Next is the ground method. Personally, I find this to be a better method if you're rolling something that's stiff like a cable instead of an extension cord, which is a little softer and easier to roll. However, it's not a bad method to use. Start by laying the cord on the ground and wrapping it over top of itself while holding it in place with your feet. Next is the double over over method. Start with both plugs in your hand and then wrap over and then over itself again repeatedly until you get to the end. Same thing, twisting your wrist around the center and then pull the end through. Here I left the tag end a little too long, but it makes for a good loop to hang the cord. Single over over, I'm gonna give you the 10 second version here because this is the same as the last method. It's just single instead of double. The disadvantage is that you need to wrap it twice as much. The single over under, this is perhaps the best method of rolling an extension cord. Um, I'm gonna play this in half speed so you can see the under portion of rolling this, which is critical for keeping the cord spaced out away from itself. So all I'm doing is laying it down with an over twist and then an under following that. Repeat this process for the entire cord. And then same thing, stick your arm through it, twist it around, and then pull out the end. Lastly is the most controversial way of rolling an extension cord. I'm just going to refer to this as the wrong way. In the construction world, this is referred to as the homeowner wrap. Um, but over time, this will leave your cord all twisted, and it is a poor way to wrap an extension cord.